you guys a hip car and we're gonna do ours today in sideline. What we're gonna be trying to do is scour our hip joint, move the ball as far as we can in our hip socket in each and every direction, trying to find, feel, and squeeze the muscles that pull us in each direction, going as far as we can without pain and without other joints contributing to the motion. So we wanna isolate the hip and the hip alone while keeping it completely pain-free. So if I'm doing a hip car and I'm doing it in side lying, what I'll be doing is lying on my side. And let's say I'm doing my right hip. I'll have my right leg out in front. The bottom leg can be straight, it can be bent, just put it wherever is comfortable for you. And then I like to have something underneath my head to rest my neck on. You could also have another block to squeeze between your hands or you can just clasp your hands together, make two fists, do whatever works for you, but you want the rest of your body to be tight and tense such that the only thing that moves is your hip. So as I do this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and find, feel, and squeeze the muscles in the front of my hip as I pull my leg up. And I'm gonna keep my knee high just for a little bit more external rotation. Then I'm gonna open up towards the ceiling, squeezing that side hip, making sure that my pelvis doesn't go along for the ride. So I wanna keep my pelvis and belly button pointed forwards. Then I'm going to keep that knee where it is. Imagine a rod going through your knee into your hip and you're going to spin your thigh inwards such that your foot comes up and then maintain that as you reach back behind you, squeezing your glute, then pulling that leg back down towards midline. You'll pause and then you're going to reverse going right back into extension, squeezing your glute, sending that tension to the side hip as you pull that knee up towards your right shoulder. You'll rotate back through and then you'll land that foot back down on the ground. So a little bit quicker, again, squeezing that front hip, sending the tension to the side, internally rotating, reaching back into extension, pulling that leg back down and then reversing, going right back into extension, squeezing that side hip, pulling that knee back up into abduction rotating back through and then landing that foot down as high as you can and sliding it away. If you were going through that and you notice pain at any point, you would just dip around that range of motion of where you experience pain. You don't want to go into it and you don't want to keep finding it on every rep, otherwise you're just going to make it worse. So then instead of having a circle, you'll have a little bit of a cookie cutter type circle and that is 100% okay. We will take again a cookie cutter that is pain free over a circle that is painful any day. So try and focus on feeling and squeezing the muscles as you move your hip in each and every direction as far as you can without pain, doing your very best to isolate the hip.